No, I think it's like a, an enemy. I need to take out the coyote things. All right. Oh! It can it? Oh wait, what? What just happened? Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish. Today we're going to be talking about a card deck building horror battle game which has a lot of secrets and some crazy puzzles. Now, I'm pretty dyslexic so this is going to be the hardest thing to do and explain everything of the rules but um, let's go. Inscription is a horror card building battle game with the feel of an escape and lots of secrets in the game. Card game is about hunting, sacrificing, self mutilation, and surgeries. The more deeper you go in the game, you'll notice your deck becoming more brutal and disgusting from nice animals to mutated animals as you play along the game. How this works is pretty ingenious, but also very, very hard. So you start the game where you're in this forest area and it's like a roguelike map where you can move your pieces to left or right or other directions to make your way of the boss of that match. With lots of events in the game and a lot of deck battles, you can make your deck even more powerful by mutating your animals or even finding cards that could be more powerful from grizzly bears to rattlers even mutated elks and heck if you ever come across a doctor you can perform surgery to make that card even more powerful there's lots to do in the game and there's lots of things to explore for yourself it's a pretty interesting game but let me try the best i can to perform this rules of how the game's played so the rules of the deck is you need to get your animal's decks to attack the other side, the paw prints. But before that, you'll need to sacrifice something. So you always have an innocent card on one side. It's like the it's like the prey and the hunter. So your, one of your sides will be squirrels. So you'll place a squirrel down and you'll need to sacrifice it in order to get a certain card. Say for instance, your card has a blood drip. You'll need to sacrifice the squirrel in order to place that card down. If it gives two, you need to sacrifice two animals to put your card down. It can be really, really interesting because if you've got a load of cards that you don't want and you want a powerful card to place down there, you can sacrifice the animals you've already spawned in, not just squirrels. However, that will kill them off into that match of the deck. As well as that, if your card gets taken out, you'll be rewarded with bone points. Now, bone points is a thing you need to gather because you'll also get deck building cards which will have bone icons instead of the blood drips. And those will be the ones you can place down with the bone coins. So to win the game, once your attacking cards gets placed down, you'll need to attack the paw print above in order to drop teeth on the weight on the left side. If the teeth go all the way to the right side and go down to the bottom, you have won the game. But be warned, the opposite player is doing the same thing as you and trying to outsmart you. So for instance, if you get hit with your paw print area and you've got no cards and you see a load of teeth dropping into the front of your weight you will lose the game but fear not if you do lose the game you will get a chance to build your own card of yourself whatever animals you had on your decks can be used to upgrade this card of your own and become powerful from their health abilities to their actual signal ability now each card has a different animal, and each animal has a different ability. The mole can go underground, a fish type can swim and attack, but also hide, and also your flying type animals. Not to mention the, some of the deers and other animals that can hit left and right. And not just that, there is many secrets to discover in this game from not just that you're confined to the table itself, but you're also managing to walk around the cabin to find and unlock different puzzles in the game, which is cool because as you progress through the game, you'll, you'll notice some hints around the place and you can use that advantage to go looking around the cabin and solving puzzles there. Some of the puzzles you solve there, so far I know, you can unlock new cards for your deck, really. 
But as I said, the more and more you go in the game, the more mutation and messed up the cards will become, and the more you unlock. If you do get to like boss 3 and you get taken out, you'll have to start all over again. But however, you will get new cards as you keep playing along, so you'll unlock new different types of decks. And overall, the game is pretty good. I'm enjoying it and I'm going to be playing more of that in my own time because it's quite an addictive thing. It's very hard to talk about how it's played. I think more of an intelligent person could probably tell you better, but this is the best I can try and do. Um, the game's pretty cheap, reasonable price, and very, very entertaining. There's a lot of replayability on this game. So, um, yeah, I would definitely check it out and pick it up. If not, they have a demo. They have an actual demo in the game, which is a really good demo. Not a terrible, quick tip demo. It's a good demo. And that is my review on Inscription. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the MGM channel. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a wonderful day.